My name is Joshua Ripcraft. I am the team lead for the prayer team Strat Op initiative and on my team with me is Pam Young and Mary Schaefer and Mary Sones and Kim Wilhelm and Jeanette Brazy and Roger Roland and Shane Shook. So I've got a pretty big team. Shout out to all of them. And our goal is to help Lighthouse to become a powerful and praying church. And this means helping you, uh, but really helping all of us uh, to take seriously the call to prayer as a believer in the Lord Jesus. My name is Shelby Rickgraff and I serve on the discipleship team. And on my team with me is Pastor Kevin and then Elder Craig Nelson. And we also have April White. And our team exists to help create a very clear pathway for discipleship. And discipleship is a person that is passionately pursuing a relationship with Jesus. Hey, I'm Kevin, and I am the leader of the serving team. And on my team, I've got Ken and Penny Zinkula and Gary Fuller. Our objective for our team is that we want to equip people like you guys to serve at Lighthouse. We want to make it easier, we want to make it fun, and use your gifting, your passion to serve the Lord here through Lighthouse. Hi, and I'm, my name is Jean Yorickson, and I head up the finance team here at Lighthouse. We've been coming to Lighthouse for, boy, a long time, over 15 years and I'm excited to work on the finance team and some of the things we've accomplished over the last couple years. But now we're working toward a new goal, which is to get everyone in the church giving toward a healthy balanced budget at the church. That's our number one goal, and I'm super excited to be leading the team toward that goal. Hi, good morning, I'm Craig Nelson. I'm the head of the Constitution and Bylaws Committee that was formed after Stratop. Uh, on my committee is, of course, myself as chairman, Shane Shook, Christy Rowland, and Gary Fritz. And together we have been reviewing our constitution and bylaws with an eye to deciding what changes we need to make in order to uh, bring them up to date with where the church is and where we see it going. Hi, my name is Krista Jackson. I have attended Lighthouse church for several years. Pastor Kevin approached me and asked me to be the lead of the communication team as part of Stratop. Currently the team members are Londa Fuller, Tiffany Lanier, and Ashton White. The goal of the communications team is to understand the best way that Lighthouse can provide information to all of you. Our first mission is to identify all of the ways you're currently in receiving information about things like church changes, events, and prayer requests. We want to streamline the communication process so that all of the content, the formatting, and the styling are clear and consistent across all platforms. We'll also be looking at update the brand, updating the branding so that all of that content is professional and has the same look and feel. Two things that I'm personally uh, excited about for my team is when I first initially made the ask uh, to see who would be interested in being on the team, I emailed a number of people. As I said earlier, my team's pretty big, and basically everyone that I reached out to uh, said yes and said that they wanted to be interested. And that was so encouraging to me personally just to know that there's um, just so many people at Lighthouse who really take uh, prayer seriously and want us as a church to take prayer seriously. So I'm really excited about that. And then I'm also excited to see um, how this initiative is gonna help um, people to grow spiritually. Um, so much of the Christian life and the Christian walk is about learning how to walk in step with the Lord and, um, and doing that through prayer being a really key, a really pivotal part of, of walking in step with God. And, um, 
I think as we continue to to grow in this area, both as individuals and as a church, that we are going to see uh, just spiritual growth, people who are becoming more mature, more Christ-like uh, in their everyday lives. So those are the two things that I'm excited about. So the thing I'm most excited about for our team is um, getting to give other people the gift that has been such a blessing to me in my personal walk. Uh, the most forming experiences for my relationship with Jesus has been in times in my life where I'm in a one-on-one -on -one mentorship relationship with another believer. And so the opportunity to help other people experience that, that richness in relationship with other believers is what I'm most excited about. I am most excited about um, getting everyone here to serve in some capacity, whether it's large or small, this idea of the, the entire body of Christ uh, using their passion gifting area to help. This is a you know, good sized church and to uh, do all that we accomplish for kids, students, outreach, worship ministry. Uh, we, we need a lot of people. And so it gets me excited to use your gifts, my gifts, all of us coming together to glorify Christ. I think what we're most excited about on the team is that in an attempt to reach this goal, great things could happen along the way for the church and for all the members and the community around us. So if we get to the point that we have everyone giving toward a healthy balanced budget, that we can do great things here at Lighthouse, that we can do great things within our community, and that it would be really easy to meet our budget and it would be easy to do all the extra things we wanna do on an ongoing basis. The thing I'm most excited about with my team has been the uh, real uh, input that they have brought to it and also the real willingness to do the work that this is required. We have done some things that might sound rather boring but we read through not just our own constitution and bylaws which is kind of boring reading ultimately but we read through them a number of times looking at them from various issues what was do done what's happened and then we also reached out to a number of churches in the area that are like us as well as to the uh, Evangelical Free Church Central Committee here in Iowa to get copies of other people's constitutions bylaws. How do they handle membership? How do they handle the office of secretary? What do they think is important? And so we read all of those too as a committee looking to contrast and compare what we have with what they have and looking for ideas on where we need to change that. We've also reached out to other people to help guide us in some of the legal aspects of the changes we're thinking of making. So my committee has been very <clears throat> enthusiastic and willing to put time, effort, and energy into making uh, these decisions and to doing what could be some rather dull work ultimately but we have gotten uh, quite a ways down the path with that so that's what I'm excited about with the committee their enthusiasm their willingness to do what needs to be done what I'm most excited about is hearing all of the different perspectives from the communication team members during our initial meeting each person talked about something that I hadn't considered or thought of Everyone has a unique take on what is going well and what could benefit from change. So when our team is fully engaged, really firing on all cylinders, uh, what we're gonna see um, is that we have become a praying church. And I think that's gonna look like two things specifically. First, I think it's gonna look like lots of corporate prayer, prayer for all of us together. And that's kind of why we have the prayer volunteers now on Sunday mornings as, an, as a way for you to connect with another believer, uh, to be prayed over. Um, but it's also gonna work its way into, into services on Sunday mornings, um, our, our kids ministry, our student ministry. Um, we're gonna have some, I think, prayer and worship nights specifically where we gather together for the purpose of prayer. So that'll be the, 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 the big thing is, is we see an increase in corporate prayer. And then secondly, we're gonna see an increase in, in private prayer as well. And um, 
I know it can be kind of intimidating uh, if you feel like you don't have like the tools or the resources uh, to really know how to pray and so we want to help you with that. We want to teach on prayer, we want to give tools and resources and, and things to help you to cultivate a, a personal prayer life, a, a prayer life that, uh, of, of devotion to the Lord and um, to really put into practice what it says in First Thessalonians uh, to pray without ceasing and obviously no one's perfect in that but uh, that would be our goal that we would try and uh, follow after uh, Paul's call in, in First Thessalonians in that way. And I think we'll see the church change as a result of our team and having a really interconnected experience with one another, uh, another le level of depth in spiritual formation. Um, I think when we are more uh, connected to one another and most of all with Christ, it just overflows in beautiful blessings naturally. Um, so I think that that's going to change the culture of our church in really beautiful ways. I also think that we're going to see more engagement overall, um, being able to meet every person where they are in their relationship with the Lord, whether you are trying to explore who He is or have just accepted Christ as your Savior, or you've been at this for a couple years or a couple decades, um, an, an ability to, to, to meet one-on-one -on -one in a in a rich relationship that can help you continue to grow and meet you where you are is beautiful and I think will help shape our church too. For our team to be green, I mean, fully functioning, going, it would mean, I mean, everyone here serving in some capacity. Now that could be, you know, financially, could be with your time, uh, stewarding those, those resources in some way but having everybody serve and how that would change things is, you know, like a lot of churches, we have some people doing a lot of things. They're not just involved in one ministry, but they're teaching our kids, they're serving on a Sunday morning, they're doing worship, they're doing all these things. And so to have many people spread out the work so that more people can be utilized, can serve, can be joyful in that, uh, knowing that God is using them, uh, we can you know, accomplish more and see God use Lighthouse more in the future. So when the team is fully engaged, what things do we see ahead? It will be such an amazing experience for Lighthouse when we have everyone giving toward that healthy balance budget that we'll be able to do more things than we could have ever imagined and grow Lighthouse um, further than we could ever imagine. And I think when we continue to focus on what that goal is and put our plan together as how we're going to reach it, and we're just in the initial stages of figuring out what that plan looks like. One is to figure out ideas, um, teach, figure out how we can teach about giving, and then to kind of put a master plan together and execute on that plan. And when we follow those steps, I think we'll have great things ahead. We see that the major change that it's going to make, first of all, is in the area of membership. We are doing some uh, radical changing of the membership requirements around the issue of having a whether we should have a membership covenant or not. Uh, Lighthouse has had a requirement that when you become a member, you sign the church covenant that we've had for a number of years. This goes back quite a ways. And we have had feedback from people saying that uh, for one reason or another, they're uncomfortable with that covenant and with signing it. Not that they necessarily disagree with what the covenant says or is encouraging, but just the sense of signing a form, a, a contract, if you will. So we have, uh, as I said, looked deeply into that. We are going to be recommending that the membership uh, committee, or excuse me, that requirement for membership drop the signing of the covenant. You'll also see somewhat a lesser change, I think, when we take a look at uh, the issue of uh, what the church secretary needs to do. Not that it's going to affect people directly, but, uh, the, but it is going to be uh, a, a situation where the church secretary, along with a parliamentarian, will, when we run the meeting, make them a bit more formal than they have been in the past. We are going to be uh, adhering much more closely to Robert's Rules of Orders 
as we run our church meetings. Uh, and that's in order to make the secretary's job of keeping the minutes easier to do and to have more formal votes, seconds, and everything that go along with those meetings. So that's another change that you will see as we get, uh, as we change the bylaws in the Constitution. When the communications team is fully engaged, my hope is that all of you feel more connected to Lighthouse. And by connected, I mean that you have easy access to all of the necessary resources to stay informed and get involved with church activities. If you would like to help out or to get involved with the prayer team, there's a few things that you could do. If you want to join the team, reach out to me. We'd love to have more people on the team. My team is, is pretty big, but hey, many hands make light work. So if you'd like to help out, uh, we'd love to have you. Um, another thing, if you have ideas or thoughts or suggestions, send them my way. Uh, I'd love to know of tools or of resources or of things that have helped you in your prayer life and things that we can work into what we're doing. I'd love to hear anything that you have. And uh, a specific volunteer role that is available is the prayer volunteers. Uh, these people that we have on Sunday mornings now who are available uh, to, to pray with other believers um, who pray for our, our services, who pray for Kevin as he's preaching. If that sounds um, like a good fit for you, I'd love to have more people help out in that way. It's, um, it's really beautiful. I'm really excited about it, and I, and I hope you guys are too. So there's a couple ways you can get involved. First off, our, our committee is still looking for more individuals to join our team and just assisting and deciding kind of the discipleship pathway in, in regards to the type of curriculum we might use, the training up of um, skills and abilities for disciplers who will um, mentor others. Um, and so if you're interested in any sort of way in helping pair up members of our church with one another, helping f formulate those relationships, that's one way to get involved. And then the other way is by saying yes to these one-on-one -on -one relationships. Um, right now our pathway looks like it'll kick off at the beginning of February and it'll be 12 weeks long. And all the um, requirement is is that you'd meet one-on-one -on -one with a person once a week for an hour and an hour and a half. Um, study a short video together, have discussion questions, and just be um, real with each other and um, see that through 12 weeks and then maybe you'll continue to meet after that. So there'll be more information about that to come in the months of December and January. And so as you see more information about this discipleship pathway, just really consider, am I somebody who really wants to invest in somebody else or am I somebody who's seeking to be invested in? And really be praying about that. And I would encourage you to say yes um, to the spirit stirring in your heart on that matter. So if you want to get involved with our team, helping equip people to serve, couple ways you can do that. Uh, one is you can be a part of our team. We'd love to have you join us and uh, help out, come with ideas about how to make it easier for people to onboard to serve somewhere. We are also uh, kind of working behind the scenes to create kind of good job descriptions and um, any kind of volunteer role we have here to make it uh, easy to understand kind of the time commitment and what we do. And so be looking for that on our website coming up. And then finally, we, we put out a spiritual gifts test, and we'd love for everybody here at Lighthouse, whether you're new or been here for a long time, to fill that out and see kind of what, what giftings, what passions, experiences we have here at the church. So I think there are lots of ways that people at Lighthouse can get involved with our vision and our goal. One would be if you want to serve on the committee, please let me know. Two would be if you have ideas that you want to share and maybe don't want to join the committee, please let me know those ideas as well. And three would be to give. And one of the things where our goal is to get everyone giving toward a balanced budget. And we're not saying how much, we're just asking everyone to give something. So to think about that, pray about that, see what God's placing on your heart. I would like to share one piece of scripture with you that says, is from Malachi 3.10, that says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessings that there will be not enough room to store it. So God's asking us to test him in our giving 
And so I'm asking you to challenge yourself and pray about it and see what God's laying on your heart to give. And that could be a great blessing to Lighthouse and the world around us. Now question four, how can people at Lighthouse help or get involved on our team? Well, I just gave you one way that they can help and get involved with the team. Talk to us. Let us know if you have some concerns, some ideas, some issues. Maybe uh, at another church you've been, they did things somewhat differently or their constitution or bylaws looked a bit differently. Um, but come talk to us. That's the main thing. And if you would be interested in being on the committee, you can always come talk to me. We're always willing to add people to the committee if uh, you have some thoughts or want to be more involved in the process. I'm looking forward to hearing all of your ideas too. Today the communications team is launching a communication preference survey. On your Sunday bulletin is a QR code. If you take out your camera phone and hover over that code, you'll be able to access the survey. I will also be posting the survey to the Lighthouse Community Church Facebook page. A survey link will be sent out in the upcoming Friday notes. And after service today, I will be out at the next steps wall for those of you who would like to complete a paper survey. I promise everything is anonymous. We really want everybody to participate even high schoolers and middle schoolers. We want everybody's feedback. We would also love to have more team members. If you're someone who likes to analyze results, if you like to design, or if you're a social media wizard, please talk to me or Pastor Kevin about joining the communications team.